Hi everybody, it's Vince from VP Systems. Uh, today we're going to just uh, quickly, literally, it's, very, it's actually really quick actually, is to repair um, a FreeSat box. Okay. If you've been unfortunate to get one of these, <laughs> it's the FreeSat Aris 4K. So it's the 4K UHD made by Aris, I do believe. Um, free sat box. Now, I had a Humax a long, for a long, still got one actually for a long time. And uh, the Humax 1000T or whatever it is, free sat, absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, Humax don't make those anymore. All right, but you know what? I've never had a problem with a hard drive. This one. I've had less than two years and the hard drive's failed on it. You'll know the hard drive's failed on it because the thing will keep on rebooting itself, trying to fix the hard drive and you won't get any further forward with it. So it's time to have a swap -a rooney Okay, so what I've already prepared, right, is this is the top, the top is the lid that needs to come off. So the screw's there, so that's your warranty void seal, okay? So you've voided your warranty for what it's worth <laughs> and you take the screws out these screws are if I can get a zoom in on there little like tiny little torque screws right you won't always have the torque bit so if you haven't got a torque bit don't worry your fur because what I've done is I'm able to get it out with a very small terminal so I've got a set of uh, screwdrivers here very small terminal was able to uh, get that torque screw out quite quite easily okay so this is the replacement hard drive now what I've done is I've decided to invest in a uh, crucial this is a uh, two terabyte version this box these boxes will only see up to two terabytes so just bear that in mind Jess it's not worth you spending money on a six terabyte disk because these boxes the, the, the firmware in these boxes will only see up to two terabytes okay so what basically what I've done is this is an SSD so this is a solid state drive so I managed to pick this up from Amazon I think it was about 108 pounds so it's probably half the cost of the unit okay but do you know what no moving parts it's a solid state drive okay so what we're going to do turn this upside down so I've already got the lid off so the lid just takes a look you don't even need a smudger the lid will just literally come off just be careful of the paste there because you've got some thermal paste there and that's what's keeping the cpu cool so make sure that goes back on uh, so although it looks like blue tech it isn't it's thermal it's thermal uh, paste so here we have the offending article right and this literally once you've taken the two screws out of that right and you've got the lid off pops out and it's got little rubber things on it yeah little rub little baby buggy bumpers yeah so what you need to do is you need to get those rubber things and we stick them in the holes that are on the new drive okay now this is a SATA 2.5 or SATA 2.5 drive okay so I'm going to do this one-handed because I'm clever like that and that's all you need to do to take the hard drive out. That is all you need to do. See all this thermal stuff here. Just beware that this is all thermal, thermal compound. Okay, it's to try and keep the chips cool. So it hasn't got no fan. I can't see a fan in it anyway, so it doesn't look like it's got a fan in it. Anyway, so here's the old drive. Now, you can have a look at that for those of you who are for those hard drive aficionados. That is a bit disappointing actually, because that is a Seagate video 2.5 hard disk drive, mechanical, two terabytes. Now I was thinking that it was a Toshiba, but I'm actually a bit surprised now that that is, an, that is a C Seagate one. I'm a bit disappointed with that. I've had this, don't forget guys and girls, I've had this less than two years. So it just went mental one day, this, this was just, Booting up, restarting, hard drive failure, this, that and the other. And no matter what I did, I couldn't 
do anything. So, so it looks like it's had its, you know, at its time. So what we're going to do, swap over, put that back in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so fitted on the new drive are the little rubber baby buggy bumpers on the new drive. There you go. So for all you uh, solid state drive aficionados, there is the uh, details in front of you. You might want to pause that. I'm holding it steady as I can. Okay. And the uh, SATA leads and the SATA power, SATA power, uh, go straight in the, straight in there. Okay. So no problems there. Uh, just a little tip while you're putting these back in, these these baby buggy bumpers, they don't. They don't. They're not glued in or nothing, so you might have to help them home with a with a terminal. Okay, so just help them home like this with a terminal screwdriver. So otherwise they'll they'll be all over the place. And when you put the uh, unit together, you'll start hearing it rattling around with something run, running around inside. You're going to come a gutter. You don't want to have to open it up again. So. Just make sure also that that leads on there, which is, this is the power and the uh, SATA data transfer connected to the main board. And this is Aris PCB made in China's finest at it again, eh? China's finest. There we go. Well, as you know, anyone who's dealt with hard drives and everything, the, the, the SATA, um, or the SSD, the, the, the SSD or solid slate drive is a direct replacement for a mechanical drive. No special drive is needed because it acts as a, the, the, basically whatever's controlling it, for example this board here, should see that as a normal mechanical drive. But it works because it's solid state. So no moving parts. So this, there's only one place for this and that's in the bin. I mean, look, it's got video on it as well, you know? I mean, this... Why can't we just get stuff to last a little bit longer than maybe a couple of years? I've had this less than a couple of years, this thing. Never mind. I'm going to give the Cruiser a try. On there. So, he's all in there. So, everything's in there. So, all it has to do... All I have to do now is put this back together... Do you know what, Humax, if you're listening, please start remanufacturing free sat boxes. Please. Pretty please. Because I've had mine for years. And literally, not a problem. The only thing is it won't it won't do 4K. So that's the only problem. But other than that, you know what? I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So I'm just a bit myth as to how come these boxes and there's a lot of people on the forums reporting that these boxes don't last five minutes so there's your box there i mean it does all right i mean the the good thing about the free set i mean i'm not going to knock it completely but the good thing about the free set aris box the 4k is that it comes with the uh option to have the uk uk channels all, all nicely all nicely on there so bbc one is for example 101 ITV is 103 and all that because obviously with satellite it could be anything couldn't it so uh, so it, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the actual box I just wish it would work a little bit longer you know so we're going to give that a try so just make sure so I've broken a bit of the thermal paste there I haven't got any thermal paste with me thermal compound so I'm going to just uh, just hope that this uh, lasts without putting any more the compound's still there I mean it's still there on there and the compound is still on these uh, microprocessors here and these these look like power supply um, PSU uh, regulators so there we go so we're gonna put this lid on so all, all it is is the lid just goes on like this he says do you know what it says never work with children or animals or bits of plastic that's what it should be bits of plastic because for some reason <laughs> get back on there you bugger right excuse my French 
Right, so literally, this will go back on there. Oh yeah, and it just drops in like that. It isn't, you don't need to smudge it out with a smudger or nothing like that. It just sort of clippy, clippity clops in. Okay, just like that. Doing this one-handed to bring you the information you need to change it over. So once that's done, that's all home now on this. There's your little the power supply button there. Upend it and the screw, so the screw you're looking for, the screw hole is there and there's one there under the warranty seal, okay? So this is now the test. There's the control unit. Oh, we booted up free sat. Look at this. It takes a little while to configure actually, because what it has to do, it has to power the satellite. Then what happens then is once it powers the satellite, then it's got a light and it'll do whatever it needs to do and then come up with all these channels. Look at this. So TV guide recordings. Please wait. So here we go. No recordings. Oh, but I'm getting my channels back straight away. It's just setting up some stuff. I'm going to turn the volume off in case I get copyright strike on there. So let's mute that. Okay, so it's, I think what it'll be doing, it'll sort of be trying to format the hard drive. Is it going to try and format the hard drive? It will be, it will be trying to format the hard drive. And what we're going to do is we'll come back to that very shortly. Okay, so that was literally less than a minute. So what I've done is I've paused, I've paused the program. So this is a good way of making sure the hard drive is working. I've paused the current program that's on, that it's turned on to. And I'm going to play it again. Because it's been paused now a few seconds. I'm going to play it again. Let's see if I can wind back. Look at that. Ha 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 ha! Who's a pretty boy then, eh? Excellent. So that is definitely that's uh, that's got your um, play and pause that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can set a recording. So that's going back to live. Okay. So we're going to go home and we're going to go recordings. Press OK for more into it. There's nothing to show because we have completely a new a new drive. So we haven't got any recordings, which is which is what we didn't want because it's like I say it's a completely new drive. So if we was to record a bit of this, record this episode, look, no errors whatsoever. That is absolutely brilliant. So recording has been set. There you go. In. There's a lot of this crown stuff going on. If you're watching this outside the UK, we have got a coronation coming up next week. King Charles is getting coronated. So this there's a lot of this going on at the moment in the UK. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop that. Let's stop that recording. Oh Vince, why didn't you know what to do? Stop recording, there we go, that's what I want to do. So now, if I go to guide, and I don't want guide, do I? So this is, um, this is unscripted, aha, there we go, recordings. Part of it's re watch recording now. It says it's incomplete, obviously, because I've only done a few seconds of it. And watch the, look at that. Oh, that's absolute, look at that. And with a solid state drive, it's a it's a, a lot faster as well. So I would recommend, if you was doing an, a Freeview Aris Box upgrade like this, I would recommend using a, a, solid, a solid state drive. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed the, the video and I hope it helps you. So don't throw your free sat box away when it starts playing up like that with hard drives and everything like that. Get one and put one in yourself. Yeah? 
all right no worries thanks again for watching catch you later my name's vince i'm from vep systems have a good one happy repairing